sometimes it takes a different approach to help you unlock your true potential. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath learning format, you gain relevant skills you can apply to your career right away. Earn your degree from an accredited university and be confident in the quality of your education. Imagine your future differently at capella.edu. Capella University is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Learn more at capella.edu slash accreditation. You're listening to a Mint podcast brought to you by HD Smartcast. Good morning, listeners. Welcome to Top of the Morning by Mint, your weekday newscast that brings you five major stories from the world of business. It's Thursday, March 27th, 2024. My name is Nelson John. Let's get started. Top of the Morning by Mint. Markets enjoyed an uptick on Wednesday. Benchmark indices in Nifty increased by around half a percent point, while Sensex was up by 0.73% by the time markets closed. India is short on directors. Not the ones that make movies, plenty of those around, but those that run companies. According to the Companies Act, every board must have a certain number of directors depending on the size of the company. These directors should ideally be independent and impartial and take decisions that benefit the company's future and in turn its shareholders. But as Mint's corporate governance writer Varun Sood reports, these directors might be shaky. Over 25 such appointed directors have called it quits before they could join boards since 2021. These directors have time and again cited personal reasons for their sudden decision to quit. As Varun writes, these often take place at companies which are undergoing a governance crisis like Z Entertainment, Dish TV, and other firms like Alcom Laboratories and Union Bank of India. Varun spoke to directors, investors and governance experts to find out why this curious trend is gathering steam in India Inc. Alternative investment funds, or AIFs, are going through a rough time right now. The markets and banking regulators came down heavily on these financial instruments, issuing notices that limit their scope of investments. Private and public banks have a fair bit of exposure to AIFs, so the Reserve Bank of India wanted to protect depositors against risky or fraudulent borrowing. But after SEBI floated a consulting paper, RBI might be willing to change its course. It is exempting banks and NBFCs from liquidating or provisioning the money it had in AIFs. Provisioning is the process of setting aside an equal amount of money to protect investors and depositors. The regulators came down hard on AIFs in December after it came to light that AIFs had borrowed from the very same banks who had invested in them leading to a potential conflict of interest. If you're a startup, it's hard time to raise money these days. Despite that, automobile platform Cardeco is working towards a new round of funding. Report startup and news economy reporter Sneha Shah. The company is in talks to raise anywhere between $100 to $150 million that will provide exits to existing investors. The company will now be valued at $1.3 billion after this round, and it claims it is on its way to an IPO in the next two years. Cardeco had a revenue of more than 2,300 crore rupees in FY23, which was a 46% jump from the previous year. Maruti Suzuki had high hopes for Jimny, a model it launched last year catering towards a market that likes off-road driving. That capability should come in handy now, as the Jimny has to overcome a steep climb from the depths of car sales hell. Only about 500 units of Jimny have been sold in Jan and Feb. Compare that to its direct rival, the Mahindra Thar, 6,000 Thars were sold in Feb alone. Mint residence auto expert Sumant Banerjee takes a deep dive into the misfortune of Maruti's off-roading ambitions that hit a rough patch. It's a rut the company can't seem to get out of. Who watches the watchman? The Indian government has decided a fact-checking unit. It wanted to constitute such a team to flag misinformation about the government. 
this body would have direct powers too. Press Freedom Advocates and activists filed an appeal against the constitution of such a body. And the Supreme Court paid heed. The Supreme Court has now stayed the creation of this unit. Mint Special Correspondent Shovik Das explains the ramification of the government's original plan, Supreme Court's order, and how artificial intelligence plays a crucial role in the entire saga. We'd love to hear your feedback on this podcast. Let us know by writing to us at feedback at the ratelifemint.com. You may send us feedback, tips, or anything that you feel we should be covering from your vantage point in the world of business and finance. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. We will be back tomorrow with a fresh episode of Top of the Morning. Have a nice day. Top of the Morning by Mint. Sometimes it takes a different approach to help you unlock your true potential. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath learning format, you gain relevant skills you can apply to your career right away. Earn your degree from an accredited university and be confident in the quality of your education. Imagine your future differently at capella.edu. Capella University is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Learn more at capella.edu slash accreditation.